I am Slick Nick, the living legend of hair loss, your personal hairline hero, and of course the red pill pusher. This is a very unique and exciting video, not only because I happen to actually have COVID while I'm shooting it, but I've been doing a little bit of research. It's because I have some ingrown toenails and I had to learn how to fix that myself. And I ran into this thing on YouTube where it says oddly satisfying video, satisfying, and it's like disgusting. It's like a Saw movie. But I thought, people are into that? Well, in the past, I've made videos where I've revealed how my hairline actually looks if I don't have my hair fixed a certain way with this hairstyle. So what I think could be satisfying for, for people who enjoy hair videos, uh, yeah, it's funny, when you Google satisfying videos, it says, oddly satisfying videos are internet video clips that portray repetitive events or actions that viewers find satisfying. The effect of watching such videos has been described as a brain massage or lightly hypnotizing and a form of psychological self-care to help overcome stress or anxiety. So I think in this event, knowing that I've got a lot of viewers that are a lot younger than me who are worrying if they're going to go bald, I think it can somehow be encouraging for me to, in essence, destroy this Norwood one and a half situation with my hair right now and show what a 39 year old man is probably more likely to look like if he doesn't have the right hairstyle, which it's been a couple of weeks since I've had a hairstyle, but I keep it at number two on the sides and two inches on top. So what I'm going to do, so I want to point out this. So for my hair to look like this, granted I did just wake up, so it's still not like a perfect, it's kind of puffed up because I, I just woke up and uh, put in some thickening fiber paste. That's the main product that I use and I don't put it all in my hair. I just put it kind of like all around the crown and right up front and then that's pretty much all I do. Uh, so this is what I normally use because it doesn't make my hair look wet. But what I want to do, I love this, the way this stuff smells, but it's not necessarily best for my hair because it does make my hair look wet and it's got argan oil in it, which actually can people say it's good for hair loss, but also it's oil, so it's going to make your hair look worse. So let's just get one final shot of, in theory, what appears to be maybe something like a Norwood one and a half, and just capture that in your mind. We're just two minutes and 40 seconds into the video. You can rewind here in a minute if you need to. This is how the hairline looks, okay? Would you agree that this is something like a Norwood one and a half? Okay, let's change that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get some of this pomade here that has oil in it. And I'm going to put that in my hair. Look at that. I'm not putting even a ton of this stuff in it. I mean, you can't even see that it's really on my finger. But again, it is oil. And so a lot of having to do with keeping your hairline kind of downplaying it is knowing the right products to use. And when there's oil as a main ingredient, or even an ingredient in general, it tends to uh, put you in a situation where it's going to reveal your scalp more and kind of show the real situation with your hair. So now that I've done that, again, I'm just using the wrong type of product for my hair. This is Cream of Nature Argan Oil. Uh, and when you look on the back of the ingredients, uh, I believe it even says on there that oil is, is one of the ingredients, where it's compared to this stuff, thickening fiber paste by Woodley for men. Uh, let me see if I, the main ingredients, water, alcohol, it's like there's fiber in it, not so much uh, oil. So fiber over oil, you know, that's, that's uh, what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this comb and I'm gonna wet my hair just a little bit more just to kind of get it to move. There we go. All right, so my hair's not soaking wet, but it's just, it's wet enough for me to Move it, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna get the comb and we're gonna really highlight this hairline. So what just moments ago, you probably saw as a Norwood one and a half. We're gonna make it, let's see, can we get it looking more like an almost three? Can we get at least a two and a half? If not, some might even think, think three. So this, what I've do, done now, I've just, I'm combing my hair back. Like, specifically I'm gonna comb it straight up and then sort of back like that. 
So already what you can see in this video is, when you see me from this point, you, you can now see where it does go up more. Now, granted, no one would necessarily see me as a balding man, but the receding hairline is more prominent now. Especially if I were to just go straight back with my hair and do that. There we go. More of it. See, what's interesting is how quickly I just became Jack Nicholson, uh, you know, in The Shining. And I believe when he made that, that movie, he was, he was around my age. So you can see a more prominent receding hairline. And it appears that there's even, you can kind of see the, the thinness in there. My scalp is showing no matter what I do. And I don't even have, I don't even have the light on. I'm shooting this with just sunlight coming through a window. So I think that's something else we should consider. I'm going to turn the light on to see if it shows more skin through the, uh, when the light's on. And I'm going to warn you, it's going to be like, was it season five of Lost, the final episode where everything turns white? The camera's going to adjust. Here we go. This is going to take a minute. But ultimately what's going to happen is you might see more light shining through my hair. Okay, so I'm, what I really want to do is just accentuate that point there, that V. There we go. So let's say I didn't know better and I wanted to, I had a pompadour undercut with two, two inches on top, which would be the right length for me, but I hadn't quite figured out how to style my hair. Well, it would look like this. And actually what's funny is earlier in the summer when I started this hairstyle, I ultimately didn't realize that yet. So this doesn't look horrible, but we can all agree that I went from two minutes and 40 minutes into the video when I think we'd all agreed Norwood to one and a half. We're strong at at least Norwood two and a half now. So something else I want to point out with this hairstyle too is when I had the length longer on top, I wanted to see if I could get away with the thing where you just comb it straight back, where it kind of does, where it hangs over the back. It didn't work for a few reasons. One, my hair's too wavy. It doesn't look like it in this, but it's because I've combed my hair. My, comb, my hair is actually wavy unless I comb it. So it didn't quite work for that reason. But also, I do have thinning in this portion specifically. And that's one of the, when I fix my hair the right way, it combs it forward on that. And then of course, this part is mainly shaved off anyway. But if we were try to, I don't know if my hair is really long enough to show you how that would be. So there you go. This is not the best look for me. And it definitely upgrades me, or shall we say downgrades me, a whole Norwood. So I would love to know your thoughts on this. Let's turn off the lights again and see what happens. So yeah, tell me what you have to say below. Is this interesting? Did you learn something? Do you think, wow, it really is interesting how your Norwood can change based on your hairstyle and the lighting and that sort of thing. Because a lot of people uh, here recently are saying that I had a hair transplant. But it's mainly the lighting, it's mainly the hairstyle and how I fix my hair and the products that I use and the products that I don't use. And of course, as always, remember, if you want to know if you're going to go bald, you don't ask me. You tell me by watching that video in the link. It tells you the five, answer all five questions and then tell me if you're going to go bald. Don't focus on one, focus on all five and then tell me, Nick, I'm going to go bald. Nick, I'm not going to go bald. And then more importantly, you'll see the 10 things that actually matter as far as the things that you're being judged on anyway. And one more thing, I really appreciate any likes you could give me because that sends a message to the algorithm with YouTube that I am relevant and I will show up in more people's suggested feed. So I appreciate you doing that. Comments belong right here.